So this is uh, a video to show off uh, what I play my FSS tables on. It's a, an FSS rig. It's not an FSS cab. Cab mean uh, meaning I probably cabinet. So I don't have a cabinet per se. It's more like a rig because of the rigging. So I have a 43 inch monitor uh, held up by a standard uh, TV stand. There's many styles of these. I chose this particular one because of the heavy base. And uh, it sits on a platform. This platform has eight casters. And so uh, to prevent it from actually falling off because it's on a small surface. And uh, so I'll show some of the connectors in the back. So this is the speaker box. Sorry if I uh, can't deal with the uh, focus problems because I'm I'm on a 35 mil camera, so I, I can't do anything about it. Plus, I'm you know I'm only using one hand to to show things and holding the camera with the other. Um, so like I said, the speaker box is here and it's sitting on a platform. This platform, like I said, has casters and it is also sitting on a rail system. This rail system uh, allows for the uh, control panel to move forward and back. I'll show that more later on, not in this position. So now I'll, uh, so now that I showed in the back, and I have to start from the back because it's easier to rotate it with the right hand counterclockwise. So I'll rotate that. Okay. To move it over a little here. All right. Now we'll do the rest. Oops. Came off the rail. go if I didn't have so many things in the way it would be easier to rotate this thing around it keeps like, my space is limited all right so flipped around that's what it looks like from the front so you got your control panel and like I said it's a mixed uh, mixed pin virtual pinball and MAME cabinet uh, well sorry rig and uh, this particular one that I made is uh, you can go uh, three player so you know one player in the right corner one center one left corner and that's okay for uh, you know three you know younger people and then uh, maybe two older older kids can play the two corners and obviously anybody can play the center. So four joysticks and they're set up so that in the case of, in let's say a three person, you would have each one joystick. And then in the case of two player where they need two joysticks or so two joysticks and then two joysticks. Anyway, one player, obviously the one, two joysticks in the front, buttons in the front. You have a trackball spinner. Another spinner is going to be added here because I find spinners are not consistently positioned. So they're not consistently positioned. So another one is going to go here. Sometimes you need the, the spinner on the left side and a joystick on the right. Anyway, all kinds of configurations. So I will be showing off the inside. So here's the inside. I'll just put the... Uh, little block here so it won't close on me so as you can see that's what it looks like inside I'll try to get rid of the glare here describe a few of the components obviously the power the input power buck and uh, buck converters maybe actually this boost that beneath is the buck the one this one boost and probably another buck underneath the amplifier 
behind the amplifier in the back there uh, you got a Windows 10 on a PC underneath here you got your USB hub and then switch on the monitor again I wish there was a con configuration to stop the GoPro from doing that uh, you got your woofer and your all your inputs over there up here you've got your I'll try to block the where is that coming from both of them are doing it it's capturing everything uh, you got your plunger here for the pinball you got four joysticks one two three four uh, four and then of course all your buttons your IO board for all of those buttons and everything and then finally the trackball above that and so yeah it's pretty crammed in there but uh, I mean for uh, two foot wide space that only goes about not even a foot deep uh, it's only about nine inches deep it's uh, it's got quite a bit in there so basically that's it uh, so in, a, in another video that I'm gonna splice in middle show off the uh, the inside of this uh, control panel and there's about 30 I think 30 buttons 30 buttons this is this is mostly pinball here every option for pinball and the plunger for pinball this is typical for both for the coin coin and player and so like I said I can pull out the control panel so I can be as far as I want from the uh, the screen it depends on what you want so I and when I put it away I push it all the way back in so I mean I mean this 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 control panel I mean is two feet wide by six inches high and nine inches deep and when you see the video what's inside you're gonna go you <laughs> are it's uh impressive what's in this little what's in this little box like I said this is the speaker box so basically you just have the uh, mid-range mid-range and tweeter but in inside here you have the uh, base woofer and here is the screen for the uh, internal Intel motherboard with the Windows 10 this allows me to choose uh, what table I want to play and on the screen well I just have my launcher and uh, I choose choose what I want to play and if it's MAME I want to play then I choose MAME vertical virtual cabs that I've uh, re recreated and it sort of gives you the impression that you're actually playing in a in a cab because it's because of peripheral vision and uh, you focus on obviously what you're playing but seeing all the other your peripheral vision plays an important part in this to make it seem like you're actually playing in a in a cab so yeah so that's it uh that's it for the uh fss pinball rig uh intro